the tester, they're making a reality show on PlayStation Network uh, where the the winners are competing for the gamer's <laughs> ultimate dream job, <gasps> an official PlayStation game tester. <laughs> Two point which so it's a contract gig for six weeks during which you sleep on a cot in the basement of their studio yeah and work eighteen hours a day. and say this is a non shippable bug and they say no it's fine <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah you for, won the prize you get exposed to all the <laughs> the frustration craziest and, shit right. and the, you get the the most bottom rung job in the video game industry that there is <laughs> you win welcome to the mailroom. <laughs> It's kind of like it's crazy that they are pitching this as a prize. It's anyone who has been as in a it. prize. You get to be completely jaded and hate video games for the rest of your life. Yeah, like I never worked in tests. Have any of you, we, no, any of you guys worked in tests? We, I think we all know multiple people. Who but have. We, yeah, we we all came up with plenty of folks who have done test work. Not a lot of good things to say. And about. yeah, yeah, they always come away from it unhappy. It's they true always here. have an amazing amount of bad shit to say. Drew, did, did Drew test? Yeah, T- testing. Oh. It's not good, right? Uh, summer job, he says. <laughs> summer job. It's about right. Yeah, you could do that for that long sure. and then go. All right, I need to get out. Oh, but then you go back to school when you're all tired. Right. You, you did not. Yeah, you go your... back to school, but then you have stories about like, and there was one guy who was like in his mid fifties and he's been doing it all along. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How did he not get out? I mean, the one the one he thing still you, thinks he's getting into a design job. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, the one the one thing you can say in his favor is that, like, the mailroom it can be used as a stepping stone. Right? Yeah, I'm yeah. It, it will it, be, it or does, is even yes, likely to yes, be, it, but it, it can be. Right. I guess. Yeah, that's that the thing. Is, I, I, yeah, I've I've we've seen plenty of people who have graduated out of test and done you know bigger and better things, but it's you know it's a big pool. Yeah, that's there's a lot of people that don't make it out of there. And uh, and again, I don't think anybody says. And correct, I, I could be totally wrong, but nobody says testing was the best part of their career when they started out. I'd want to win that as a prize. <laughs> That's what I want to find in my Captain Crunch box is a ticket to go be a tester. QA lead. Now you're talking a lead. Yeah, yeah. Now you're talking like a real position. Oh, then you like, got to manage people. But you got to come up. You can't just come in as a lead, having not done any test work beforehand. I want it. That's my prize. <laughs> That's the prizes I get to skip all that crap. Like yeah, the prize they, would be like but you get to be a away. designer, and then you get to make actual choices about a game in development. But they can't give away something, but like value. Put my you name can, you in can't, the game. You can't put. You can't give someone the, like a job that requires them to be able to do stuff, which is it, why they you know. Are it's like away if Top Chef, job. if you won, you became like a line cook at a Denny's. <laughs> like that's what you win. It's true. It's like oh. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's that's only if you won Top Chef by, like, being good at beer pong or... I guess, by you know, being the funny guy? Yeah, because from the sound of it, this thing... Has no skill requirements? Well, I, th- I think, I mean, it, I forget what the wording was. It was something about, like, like weird, zany mental challenges and gaming tests or something. I don't know, like... Like some survivor esque, like like you're not you're not going to win this thing by displaying your development acumen or like your right. you know your wisdom about game design or something like Bring right up. right the, like the, the things games, that I you're doing they're... are not things that will then become applicable to like your ability to project manage right and like how, like Top Chef you schedule is a, people's time correctly yeah, like, play the same part of a game for forty hours right a week like, like Top Chef is a competition crazy. among people who are masters at their craft you know this is I don't think this is anything <laughs> like that. I want to see a rally show of the best testers <laughs> from around the globe. How many we bugs found did you find? The, the creme de la creme of game there tests. There are 67 bugs in this build. Who can find them all? That's right. Look You've at the attention it. to detail in this You've feedback. You've got an hour. And check, like, out, and check out this 16-page report. And one on guy finds tearing. like 69 bugs. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, like, okay. Whoa. They, they, they should get the guy who said to tighten up the graphics on level three. I didn't come here to <laughs> they make friends. Host it. They should host <laughs> it. They should. I came here to find bugs. Uh, so you're, yeah, Meredith Molinari hosting and David Jaffe as one of the, uh, the judges. That, that makes it kind of interesting. Just because, well, it won't because he can't curse. If I can't uh, hear David Jaffe say fuck a bunch, then who's the other I don't person? want to hear him talk. What if they bleep, bleep it? <laughs> Who, who's the other person? Uh, the other judge is a Brent Gokey. Oh, the person before David Jaffe. Meredith Molinari. Who's that? Just the host. Is she also a judge? Because it looked like they were trying to assemble their sort of American Idol panel of but, like, here's the asshole, here is the. the I don't, girl. I don't, she's a pro. She's a here. professional host. Okay. Oh, so, so she's she not. Yeah, go check out MeredithMolinari.com. Oh, I don't think I want to. She's a presenter. <laughs> Does she have like a reel? She's, got, she's on Big Breakfast in the UK. 
Is she really? No. <laughs> Toby Could Young. Be all I know is that yeah, if you go to MeredithMolinari.com, it's like the second item is hosting a reel. So. Nice. It's a brief period of time that I thought that maybe I could get into presenting full time. <laughs> it's a nice dream. <laughs> could have been running the ho- the tester. Right. <laughs> oh. Try to see if there's anything on here that's. So they picked their people already? Is yeah, that the cast was yeah. announced. I think okay. that's the news Yeah, item. so they... Uh, yeah, they had they did had a, a call for cast like a long time ago, trying to assemble this. So this is, this is a while back. How many episodes? Been... Uh, I'm sorry, I was I, <laughs> I got lost in Mol- <laughs> MeredithMolinari. dot com. The only way this could be better if it all took place on home. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think it would be. There's like eleven contestants. Yeah. Eleven contestants were selected for the tester in ages from 22 to 36, and. Uh, stems from all walks of life, from student to a paramedic to a used car salesman. Hey, we're being too cynical. I, I don't know. I don't want to sound too jaded, but it just it really does sound bad. The problem is just that, yeah, like the what the care what the brass ring that they're going for here couldn't be less appealing. Yeah, like, there's not even and, any way and, that you sex it's it up. Bad because they're like trying to sell it as like these guys play video games all the time. You could win that as a prize. It's deceptive. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I don't and know. yeah, this is in, in this area to a certain extent. Like game testing is no different than working a call center. You know, it's it is yeah, it technically, has night shifts and weekend shifts just like a call center te- would. Technically, you are in the video game business, yes, but this is right. like the right. Maybe this, there's maybe there's an idea that you're gonna like walk in, play a finished version of a <laughs> finished version of a build, and then give your ideas to the designers and be like, you know, it would be cool if you had this other power up system, and then they'll be like, yeah, sure. There's, we'll uh, that I, I will say that, that kind of sums this all up. Penny Arcade has a strip about this today, and it it pretty much nails all this on the head. It's like, all right, I won. Now I'll go sit in this cube, go and play Door of the Explorer on PlayStation Two for the same part, the same broken part. Yes, it's it's weird. I mean, aside from misrepresenting the nature of the work. They also, like, by by giving it the status as a prize, they make it seem like something that's out of reach for the average person. Which, yeah, which right. it's which, very clearly yeah, it's, not. It's, yeah, like, maybe maybe in different areas it's a different yeah. story. I mean, everyone that I that I know in the Bay Area right, that has yeah. had a testing job it, it was basically just like, I need a minimum wage ass job. To be job. fair, there is a high concentration of those jobs here. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Not, not everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm but saying the, the Bay there's Area. There's a reason why they're minimum wage is because they feel like they can get anybody. It's like if you want to try and win shoot. that prize, just keep your eyes on Craigslist. Yeah. You know? And you will find temp to hire work for testers. And you're going to have to live in the Bay Area anyways because <laughs> this is where all of the test jobs are. Uh, not to say that it is not important work. I do think it is important uh, work. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But like, also, yeah, no, so pull one out for the testers yeah. out there because they are doing the as tough ass work. They're, they're, they're the last line of defense. And <laughs> That's right. They're the ones that are trying their damnedest to tell uh, people, no, seriously, that bug is bad. You need to fix this. This is a b- big goddamn problem. And, and I think out of everyone I've talked to that has done testing work, that has been their major complaint. Is that like, yeah, we found all bugs, bugs. Get waved. And, yeah. yeah. And it's like, no, that's a, well, and they, they, and they there's the, terminology. Like, that's a shippable bug. Or whatever. And, then they, <laughs> and then they get the blame. It's like, oh, yeah. test didn't do their job. All these bugs. Are like, no, it's we like, were yeah. there. We saw that bug and we filed it months ago. And then they never did anything about it because they didn't have the resources or they were – the producers were using the resources in different ways and decided that this was fine. Oh, man, there was this amazing comments thread on Gamasutra a few months ago about, like, developers chiming in with all these super crazy ways they had solved bugs at the last fucking second oh, before yeah. the game went out the door. Oh, like old oh, games, what was right? the one? I think it was one of the Wing Commander games. Yeah, you're telling me about I told the it, memory. It was there was so some kind of memory awesome. thing. And they they using, the this, I mean, this is, this is super <laughs> old, obscure DOS era, but <clears throat> they were using some kind of third-party... Like high memory manager, yeah, EMS two eighty six or whatever, right? Whatever the hell. Like every time they sh- uh, they would exit the game, the memory manager would like dump something and print out a message like you know so and so EMS whatever has crashed or whatever. Yeah, the guy went into the memory manager and hex edited that string and changed it to say thank you for playing Wing Commander. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was like like the day before they they shipped, <laughs> the day before they were done with the game. <laughs> That's so nice of him. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure I got oh, some no, of the I details out wrong. Of this game every time. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure some of the details are wrong, but that was the gist nah, of it, and I thought it was like the best thing I'd ever heard. Excellent.